Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. So yesterday we were talking about Sonar Cube, where we told that Sonar Cube is an open source code quality, code quality analysis tool, which will help me to measure the quality part of my code. When I say quality, it will give me a detailed description of what or how many duplicates I have, coding standards, unit test cases, code coverage, code complexity, comments, bugs, and security vulnerability. So these are the features which it will address. So it will do a code quality inspection. There are a set of centralized rules against which it will evaluate my entire process. I can integrate it with my DevOps pipeline. I can dig into the issues and know why it has failed. Quality gates, I can ensure that the developer is following all the coding standards when he's writing the code and visualize the history of project like what went wrong and what is going through. On top of that, when I talk about the architecture of Sonar Cube, I come to know that Sonar Cube has two major components. This is the Sonar Cube engine and this is the Sonar Cube scanner. Sonar Cube has the capability of addressing 25 plus languages quality analysis. With the Sonar Cube scanner, it will scan the code and with the compute engine which is inside my server and with the database which it has, it will go ahead and do the analysis for me. It will do a static code analysis. It means that it's not take, checking the functionality of the code. It is not checking whether the code is com uh, compiled and syntax and all those issues. It is more importantly checking on the features of comments, whether the coding rules have been followed. Is there a potential bug? Is there a complexity, unit test cases, duplication and the design of the code? Okay. So it can be used for your code quality analysis. So to make or to work with that, what we actually did is we went ahead and took two machines. So today I have brought two machines up and running. One is Jenkins, the other one is Docker. In the Docker machine, I have taken T2X large and the same with Jenkins master. Yesterday I had a problem with the size of the Jenkins master. So I have brought or I have taken a bigger machine. So if I say T2X large, I can show you that T2X large will have more CPU and so if I see here T2X large is 4 core CPU and 16 GB RAM. Obviously it is not covered under free tier eligible free tier. So I'll quickly try to run these servers and see what's happening. So let's first come and talk about my Jenkins master. So this is my public IP address and I know it will work at port. 8080 and I'll use my credentials admin and then the password was pass123 and this is where I'm logged in so close all these things this was the code which I was working with yesterday and did not work so I'll just go ahead and delete this and today I'm planning to create a new one so when I come here the first thing which I'm interested in knowing is manage Jenkins and here I'll go and check my plugins if the plugin is installed or not. So if I go to available section, I should see my sonar, sorry, if I go to my installed section, I should be able to see my sonar <coughs> cube plugin. So it says sonar cube scanner for Jenkins. It allows you to integrate sonar cube with Jenkins and it is installed. That's why it is giving me option of uninstalling it. Let me go back to my dashboard here. If I come and again go to manage Jenkins, I'll see configure system here. I will just configure where is my Sonar cube located. So let me just look for that. So this is where it is Sonar cube server. So I, I need this name sonar cube give any name of your choice server type so this has changed so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the new one so when i say i'm going to take the new one let me just connect to that first so this is the ip address let me just connect to this machine and see if my container is up and running so i'll say ec2 minus user at the rate the ip address then i'll come to ssh auth 
browse and this is the key I have used. On top of this, I'll also change the appearance a bit. Just open it up, accept. Let me become a root user. And I'll say this is host name. I will say this is a sonar sonar cube server. And again, sudo su hyphen. Now, if you remember yesterday, I ran a command which was something like this: docker run minus d for the detach mode minus minus restart always means whenever it stops abruptly go ahead and restart it the name i gave was sonar cube and i told it will be running at port 9000 and i was downloading the lts version of this so if i come back here and say so uh, docker images so first i should just come here and say docker images so it says cannot connect to the daemon are you sure your daemon is running so i I know that my docker machine is not running so I can say service docker start service docker start so it will start the machine for me and then if I come and say doc service docker status I can see it is up and running next time I don't want that this should happen whenever my system starts according at, at the same time my docker should also start so I'll say system ctl enable docker okay so next time automatically it will come up and start running now i'll come back here and say docker images just to see if my image is running yeah so i can see my image and then i will say docker ps minus a so i can see that this guy is running from last 36 seconds so i'm assuming when if it is running it should be visible to me here so I'll take this guy, take it here, put it here, and I'll open it at 9000 port number. Now the assumption is that your port is open. Okay, yesterday I had changed the password. So let me just, I don't remember what password I gave. I'll try. Okay, so this is the password I had given. So if you come down here, you can see that I have this quality gates, quality profile, and I was interested in this guy. So let me just come here to my account, uh, security, and I created a token yesterday, okay? So what I'll do is, I just forgot that token, so just revoke that token. I'll create a new token, so I will say Jenkins authentication token or Jenkins auth token, something like this and generate so i'll use it so i'll copy it with and keep it with me notepad okay so this is what i need from here as of now if i come down here i can see one dummy project is there apart from that nothing is available here but i know that my server is running here this is the one second this is the port number or, or this is the server ip so I'll take this guy come here and say that my machine is running at this location http colon double backslash you don't need this now here i will add a sonar credential so come here come here and it's not username and password it's a secret text come down here so what's the secret so you will say whatever secret you have so, or whatever password you have control a control c paste it here id you can say sonar cube credentials same with this guy and add it so i'll be using sonar cube credentials the newly created one keep coming down that's it apply save it thanks for watching the video for full course, please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today.